Hi, my name is Willie, and we got another shed update today. Got my craftsman on this time around. Put an update about three months ago, so if you want to get an idea on what's in here, go back to July videos. And uh, before I go inside the shed, I want to talk about some of the things I've gotten at the the two Jacktown shows. Got these guys for 50 bucks, which was nice. Some else I got back here. Nice simplicity sign. I have it back here out of the way, so nothing sits on top of it. I want to make a metal frame for that sometime or another. They haven't moved. I have that all cleaned up, emptied out, and doesn't, I don't even need to do an oil change on it because oil didn't get a lot of hours on it. I have it jacked up so the moisture doesn't build up underneath the deck. Snowblower is pulled out a little bit so I can get out a little bit easier. And you can see uh, the plow edge is a little bit better now. There is a simplicity plow there. That's the frame connected to it. And that's some sort of a weird hitch that was on a tractor when I got it. I have that set up on stone so it's out of the mud. And that's the original plow to my 2012, in case you're wondering. Let's take a walk to the back and see what else I got. Had a little bit of wind so we got a lot of trees branches down in back here. Got this in the October show down at Jacktown. 100 bucks. Spins nice and everything. Even the baffles in nice shape up underneath. Might come in handy sometime or another. Both of those will get restored sometime or another. That's a 48 inch deck in case you were wondering. It says right there. Something else I've gotten that's back here. Okay, that's the sickle bar I just bought. That's the one I had. Both of them are sitting up on stones. They're out of the dirt, and I have my bottom plow up on some stones back there as well. Kind of hard to tell, but there's a, a high spot here. So I have it out of the mud. So I'm hoping between the later style and the early style sickle bar mower, I might be able to get something running at some point or another. Let's get into the shed now. Hang on. Now, I forgot to mention that these are monsters. They are... Let me see if I can get a better picture on that. 24, 13 by 12. So those rims are 12 inches wide. They're beastly. <laughs> Here's my bucket that sits up underneath here. I have it pulled out so I can show you what's in here. I have some rear sleeve hitches. I have the shredder PTO in here, some extra rollers, an extra lift rod, the PTO for the snow blowers, or the PTO engagement rod. I have another one back here that got a little bit bent. I can straighten that out sometime or another. And uh, there's mid PTOs. I even have uh, a high low. I got I got to get rebuild parts for that one of these days. Not sure if I'll ever use it. And then that's the round top tiller mule drive that big pulley down there and we got some rear hitches and uh, i wasn't sure if i was gonna take a i cut that off of a plow frame to try and make a greater blade matter of fact that's, i forgot to mention something i got another attachment too hold on i forgot to mention i got a greater blade too it's all there that's one side and then that's the other side this side's a little bit in the ground, but not much. Okay, now back to the shed. Yeah, as I was saying, I was thinking about making a greater blade frame, but then I wound up buying one. <laughs> and this is the bucket with all my Briggs Kohler and gasket stuff. I have that set on top of the shredder out of the way, up against the wall. That's a gas tank I was looking for the one day, so I can put on that 10 horsepower engine one of these days, but I want to repaint that tank and that engine one of these days. I want to keep it the same color, but I want to paint uh, every square inch, like take the blower housing off and paint the actual block that actual color. So it'll look better than new, which I was talking about before. And here's all my engines stacked up. I got one, two, three, four, four cast iron Briggs and Stratton engines in here. 
And here's all my uh, garden tractor tires, the front tires and wheels, all stacked up back here. I took two transmissions out of here that were underneath everything. I'm gonna get those rebuilt for my Craftsman. And I also have to rebuild a transmission for my Alice Chalmers B1 because the axle tube has a lot of slop in it everywhere you can imagine. I stacked all my rear tires, my spare tires, all back here. I mean, all the way from the, the floor up to the top, and then I put all my gas tanks up on top. So that left me a lot more room. I'm going to take those big tires out here, and they're going to go right in there. I just pulled them out for the show, and then the seats are going to go back on top of them that just fits in here. Okay, so I'm going to put that back, put those back, and I'll turn you back on, okay? Hang on. Okay. We're all resituated. Here's all my extra weights. Here's my snowblower heater box for the round top simplicities. I have a foot dragger snowblower hitch here. Since I bought a uh, runner board snowblower hitch for my flat side snowblower, that's my front counterweight. So I have a lot of stuff for those old simplicity tractors. And uh, I'm debating if I want to get rid of these, but. I want to rebuild that uh, pulling tractor engine, and then I'll see what I do or don't want from these and get rid of the extra or whatever I don't need. Even some extra star generators, the vacuum unit blower adapter for the deck. That's the muffler that was on the Alice Chalmers 712, but it was all rusted on the tip, and the in the process of hammering it off, I bent it all up and... The flange isn't in the best of shape, it's just not as nice. And uh, being that this head was all rusted out, I didn't want to try cutting, welding, and shaping that. So I got practice on this one before I welded the other one that came off of one of those parts engines, which I talked about in the last video. I'll put the last video about my shut update in the description below. Another thing I have in here, which is always in here, is my cozy heater. Let me turn the lights off so you can see that better. So that's got a thermostat on it, it's got a high and low setting. Uh, I plug it down the outlet, that's the radio plugged in there because I don't want to run the heater off of a power strip, that's a bad idea. That plugs down to the outlet down there, so that's safe. I have a nice 15 amp extension cord running out to the shed, which I can show you that quick. Hang on. This is a good, I don't know, 7 sixteenths of an inch thick. It's 16 gauge uh, times 3 as for wire. So it's rated for 15 amps, so that's good enough for a heater. So there's your shed update. Got all kinds of stuff cleaned up. Let's go take a look at my vacuum unit, which I'll be putting to practice soon. It's still got to suck up a bunch of leaves. Yeah, I got everything over next door, but I didn't get everything sucked up over here because we got the S word. Everything's frozen in place. So let me go over and take a look at the parts I took out of the shed to make some room. Matter of fact, I'll just take it for the ride. It's only eight minutes so far. Not too long of a video. Got this run out of gas. We got stabilizer in this. I put the wheel weights on it for them. These are 12 inch wide, not 13. And they, they didn't really fit. We actually bent the bracket out to fit the wire tires on that. That's my brother's mower. These guys, I never ran out of gas, but I always kept stabilizer in the gas in them. And they both started up today, no problems there. And I got some containers here. I gotta put all this stuff in. This is all the Intec and opposed twin parts. I'm only asking $50 for all of this opposed twin stuff. And there's even a good rebuilt opposed twin carburetor right here with the manifold and everything. I mean, 50 bucks and everything else is free. Can't go wrong. Here's my vacuum unit all hooked up. We can hook this hose up separate to suck up the leaves out of the garden. Up underneath here, to keep it from tipping, we I actually added bunch of barbell weights to the axle tube to add weight down low because the trailer is separate from the engine on this unit 
uh, if the engine was original, this is back to 1987. This, uh, this trailer frame and the blower frame and blower housing is all from 87. And uh, it had an 8 horsepower Briggs originally that detonated one that was in my shed. And, and we replaced it with this Tecumseh. And this Tecumseh has no problem running this thing. It doesn't burn any oil. I stuck a push mower air filter on it just to keep the dust out of it. And I put a deflector on the exhaust to deflect the exhaust off to the side. It actually works really nice. And the bungee cord here is to keep the hose off to the side so it doesn't smack me as I'm driving. And I can unpin that from the deck and pull that off if I have to clean it. So it works really nice. Very rarely do I ever have any plugging issues on these unless I suck up too many leaves too quick. I know I still gotta get a seat for that thing. So there's your update. Gonna be going over these heaters now. I also have to get some propane. Want to make sure you have some sort of a heat source if your power goes out. We don't have oil heat here, we have electric heat. So we usually we run one downstairs and one upstairs and we're good and I'll have a third one just in case. So Still got to get a PTO clutch for this guy. The hitch goes on, I just got to get a PTO on here. I want to put an electric one on instead of a mechanical one. So this would be the mid PTO lever. The front PTO lever would have mounted on this side and I don't really want to add another lever on here because my grandfather gets on and off of this to cut grass. So the less stuff that's in the way of him getting on the tractor the better. So I'm going to put a electric clutch and utilize the switch up here. And so far the lights have been holding in really good on this, the LEDs. Haven't had any problems with them. So there's your update. I don't think I have anything else to go over. I fixed the tire in case you were wondering. And uh, as usual I'm going to wish you to have a good day. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and have a good day. Bye.